In this video I'm going to show you the proper way to install the Adobe Flash Player plugin for Mozilla Firefox. So in order to do that, I'm going to first show you the incorrect way to install it. Uh, installing it incorrectly will install unnecessary software on your system. Uh, so to download and install the plugin with Google Flash Player, Go to Adobe site and click agree and install now. You'll get a message saying Firefox prevented the site um, from asking you to install software and you'll click allow. Then Adobe will ask you to install the Adobe Download Manager. Click install now. Now we'll restart Firefox and the Adobe Download Manager will install. I want to reiterate that this is the incorrect way. I'm just showing you that what happens when you install incorrectly. Okay, so the Adobe Download Manager add-on has been installed in Firefox. Uh, now the Adobe Download Manager pops up and downloads and installs the McAfee Security Scan and the Adobe Flash Player 10. Okay, so I'm going to restart the computer and show you what all has been installed. Okay, so I rebooted and I loaded up Firefox. We see that we have this Adobe Download Manager. Uh, installed as an add-on for Firefox. If we go to Add Remove Programs, we see we have the Flash Player 10 plugin, which we wanted, but we also have this McAfee Security Scan, which we don't want. When we go to Windows Defender and check our startup items in Software Explorer, we'll also see that we have this McAfee Free Tools item, uh, and this is going to start up every time our computer starts up which is unwanted. So now that we see what happens when you install Flash Player incorrectly, let's get this computer cleaned up and then install Flash Player correctly. Okay, so the first thing we do is go to Firefox, Tools, Add-ons, and then uninstall the Adobe Download Manager. Next we go to Control Panel and then Add Remove Programs. We want to uninstall the McAfee Security Scan. And let's also uninstall the Flash Player plugin because we're going to install it correctly next time. Uh, there's also a cool tool that's put out by Adobe uh, that allows you uh, to uninstall Flash Player with just a double click and we go to open Firefox and go to Flash Uninstaller go to this link which I'll post in the info and download this program the uninstall Flash Player for Windows and save it to your desktop and when you do that, it'll uninstall all versions of Adobe Flash Player. Make sure that all of your browser windows are closed uh, before you run that program. So we click Yes. And Adobe has been uninstalled. And so we'll restart and install Adobe Flash Player correctly without all that unnecessary software. Okay, so we've restarted and our system is clear of all of that software that Adobe installed the first time we we installed Flash Player. So this time let's install it correctly. Open Firefox.
go to the Flash Player download site. Only this time uncheck McAfee Security Scan and then we can click Agree and Install Now. Uh, if you get this, when you get this pop-up message uh, saying Firefox prevented this site from asking you to install software, click the X. We don't want Firefox to install this software. We don't want the Adobe Download Manager. Okay, once you've done that, uh, you can just right click on this where it says click here to download save the link as it's called install flash player uh, I have it saving to my desktop close all of your browser windows and double click install flash player and you're done. Now you have Flash Player and you don't have an extra Firefox extension installed. You don't have the McAfee security scan and you don't have uh, anything running at startup that you don't want. So uh, it's definitely the way to install Flash Player and there's not much difference in the right way and the wrong way just don't allow uh, Adobe to install that download manager and then click the link that says to download Adobe now and instead of a three minute install it's a 10 second install so I hope this helps if you have any questions leave me a comment